In the last video, we used a little bit of CSS uh, to highlight the item that we were deleting. Uh, and now we're going to go ahead and use uh, more CSS uh, to format the page and, and uh, start formatting the website and making it actually look like uh, something um, that, we, that, that the website should look like instead of just the black and white text. Um, so when I'm thinking about how I want to design this thing, I'm probably going to start out with a wireframe. Uh, and what I would ideally like to have is uh, this white would be the screen. Uh, there will be some kind of container. Uh, and that container will hold uh, something that kind of looks like this. This will be menus and those kinds of things across the top, kind of a header. Um, this will be the content uh, that where uh, the different items will display. And then we'll have a footer across the bottom. So as I start to bring those things together and think about them as a div or a division of the page, uh, I might use names like this. I would like to have that date up here with the menu. So instead of having the one div uh, that's just header all the way across, um, I would like the menu and the date to be separate. Here's probably what it's going to look like. Now we're starting to do some screen sketches. Uh, and these screen sketches are just kind of building on the wireframe. Uh, but this is going to be what the user sees. Now notice that the user can view all the states. Uh, but we're also going to want to start to separate this into a user interface and an administrator interface. We are not going to want the users to be able to edit the material unless we were building a wiki. Uh, and we're not going to want them to be able to delete uh, items out of our database. Um, so we're going to need to start to, to go down the path of two separate interfaces here. Um, up here at the top then would be uh, menus. So right now it's view all states. As other menu items were added, we could go ahead and include those. Uh, and then the date. Uh, and we'll do that using an ASP variable. Um, then here's the content. Uh, it'll be just a simple welcome statement. And then we might have an image of the US map in here. The image might even be clickable. Uh, we would just, depending on how uh, we felt to be about building it. Uh, and then down here, we would have our footer material. Uh, and so when we put those together, then this is what the admin interface might look like. We can view the states. And once we view it, then we can edit or delete. And then we can add a new state as, as we need to. So this is probably what my divs are going to look like. There will be a date and a menu across the top. Uh, there will be the content. And there will be the footer. And those match pretty closely to my screen sketch. So I'm going to start working on those uh, in Visual Web Developer. Uh, I already had put this style sheet, linked the style sheet to the state details. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and link the style sheet to the other um, web pages. So states, I'll put it on new state. And I'll put it on default. Um, I'm going to start adding my divs um, into the code here as I'm, I'm starting to, to look at it. Uh, so the first one here, I have a div of a container. So we open the body. We have the form. Then we have the div that contains everything. I'm going to put a div, a subdiv in here. I'm going to give it an ID of container. It's going to want to close, so I'm going to need to grab that and drag it down here to the bottom. Next, I will have the menu div. It looks like I might need to quote these. Oh, maybe not. And I'll just put some text in there now to hold it. Menu. Next, I will have a div for date. And again, I'll just put some text in there to hold it. I will have a div for content. This is my actual content. 
and then finally I'll have a div for a footer. And I'll just put a placeholder there. So I'm just going to work off this front page for right now just to see um, if I can, can start to get it to um, to look like a web page. So let me view it in the browser. Okay, I can see the menu, I can see the date, I can see the footer. Things aren't lining up very well, so I'm going to need to go to the CSS to start working on that. When I get into the style sheet, um, first thing that I'm going to add is the container div. And I'm going to set the background color to pink. I'll set the width to uh, 900 pixels. Save it and look at it in the browser. Okay, so now I can see my container div is actually holding um, all of my other divs. So let me set the menu div next. And I'll set the background on the menu div to orange. I'll create the date div. Content div. And the footer. And let's have a look and I should see all of these colored differently. And I do, they all match, that looks good. The container div, I want to try to get this into the middle of the page, so I'm going to use the margins. Uh, and I'm going to set the margins to zero and auto. And I want to try to put a border around it, so I'm going to do a border solid two pixels black and I want to view my results okay so the margin sets it to zero and it sets it to auto margin all around so it kind of centers up that container div everything else is contained within that container div so they're gonna center up as well now this menu and date I want to try to get those side by side that's kinda of how I was was looking at it originally uh, and I had envisioned it originally uh, so the menu I'm going to just put some padding around that menu of 20 pixels. Uh, width, I'm going to give it a width of 500. And I want to use the float command. I want to float it left. I'm going to put basically those same commands, just some different values. I'm going to go with uh, 20 pixels of padding. Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, say, 200 on, on the width. I should specify those are pixels. And this time I want to float it right. So remember a div goes all the way from the left to the right. It's a it, it's a block item. It takes up the whole the whole space. Uh, if I want to try to get them to to be side by side, I need to float one of them to the left and one of them to the right, and then I use the width to shrink that down. So if this is 900 all the way across here on the container, 500 of it will go over to about here. 
the other 200 of it will be over here and by floating them left and right they'll come up and be on the same line so let's see what we have we're getting closer this um, content div tries to come up here in the middle and take up the space between the two so I need to add another command here on the content uh, let's see let's put a padding in here and we're gonna do another one called clear both when we do that this should return down and become its own block item now and it does but I can see that the menu and the date uh, have left a space open. This is that pink from the container div. So I need to make the menu a little wider and the date a little wider here. Uh, probably date's okay. Let's see. Let's go to 20 on the date. Uh, and remember 900, so 220. About 680. But now notice we have some overlap here. This is all of that padding uh, is starting to come up. So remember when we looked at the box model, we had to account for padding, margin, border, all that kind of stuff. So we actually need to shrink those down a little bit. Let's go with 600 and 220. There we go. Now they're sitting beside each other nicely. And the only thing we have left to do is add padding around that footer. Very good. So now we've got the, the basic structure built. <clears throat> so we'll take these container menu date content and footer uh, and we'll go add them to our other pages uh, so if I get onto default here I can basically take everything above that now when I go add it to our view states this is the data source it doesn't need to be formatted I'm going to actually start the formatting right here right above the grid view Right, so I need to, after the grid view closes, um, then we have a little break here and we have that home button. So I need to get below that. All of this is content from grid view to the end of the home. So I need to close the content div. I need to close the, con I need to add the footer div. And finally, I need to close the content or the container div. So there's a container, menu, date, content, footer. So everything is opening and closing correctly. I'll grab this. We need to also do state details. And the, the style sheet is linked. I need to do state details. Style sheet is linked. Again, I can skip the data sources, come down here right before the details view, and this is where I can add my my divs. Uh, details view closes. We have a couple of menu buttons here, so we'll get below that. I will need to close the content div. I'll need to add in the footer. Finally, I'll need to close the container div. Do this for new state as well. Skip the data sources. Get right above the details view. Content. 
and so now I should have them for I should have formatting for all the pages. I'll save all, and I'll view in the browser starting with default. Okay, it looks right. I can view all states. The grid view and the button are actually in the content. I can view the details of one. This is all correctly. It's all in the content div. I can add a new state and that's correctly. So everything is working, uh, functioning correctly here. Now these are pretty garish colors. Uh, I might want to go back and uh, change the, the color scheme a little bit. Notice you can't see the, con the container div. Uh, if you chose to, uh, if you wanted to see more of that container div uh, for formatting or whatever, uh, you could also add padding in here. moves it out now you can see the paint the paint from the container div so now it starts to get into your preference on how you want to format it uh, again these are garish horrible colors um, combinations uh, you would want to use uh, some kind of color scheme designer or something like that uh, to be less uh, uh, tiresome and, and less of an eyesore uh, if if a user was working off of this bright yellow uh, all day uh, that would be that would be a pretty pretty powerful strain on their eyes so um, less is usually more when you're designing user interfaces so we have this set up uh, in the next video we'll actually add some of the text and uh, those kinds of things in here and get uh, get it finished working